most important thing in life will always be family. The people right here, right now. Dominic Toretto. You don't know me. You're about to. Looks like the sins of London have followed us home. Remember Owen Shaw? This is his big bad brother. We're being hunted. I'm going with you. One last ride. That is gotta go to work. This takes crazy to a whole nother level. Woo! What's up now? What's up now? Hold it down like what's up now? What's up, my man? Good. I, I gotta know, cause I, you know, I gotta pick your brain on this, cause I love the movie, fantastic. Thank I, you. Best thrill ride I've been on in a long time, man. You did your thing. Thank you. I'm just Thank gonna you. put it out there like that. You did, <laughs> you, you did your thing as a director, man. I, I yes. think you're good at this. I think so. I should uh, maybe continue trying this. But tell me this though, yeah. your background was primarily in horror. So what did you bring from that genre to add to this genre to pull this off in Furious Seven? Well, what I learned in the uh, in the in the sort of low budget world where I came from is uh, how to be creative, you know, like how to be creative with my shots and how to uh, you know how to find ways around things if things are not working. And uh, and even though this is a much much bigger movie and I can pretty much have whatever I want in it, um, but uh, but you know, but I still think it's great to uh, to not lose sight of what you know makes you a filmmaker. And I think it's important as an artist to be. Uh, to, to you know to to be as creative as you could you know with with the way you design your shots and your scenes so what are the similarities between action and horror and what are the biggest differences well I mean what, one of the things I definitely tried to bring to uh, Fury 7 that uh, that I learned on my horror thrillers is how to create tension and suspense and so I try to put a lot of those stuff um, into my action sequences, you know, so I try to make my action scenes suspenseful. For example, the one I always use is, uh, you know, the bus dangling over the edge of the cliff, yeah. and then, and then, you know, Paul Walker's character has to try and climb out, you know, and climb, uh, you know, on top and run across it before the whole thing falls off the edge. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, it's very, uh, you know, it's my love for old school Spielberg, my love for old school Hitchcock as well. And so I try to bring some of that into this franchise. Now, tell me this, because you referenced Paul Walker. Had an untimely death in 2013. What did you have to change, and how devastating was that in the process of completing the movie? Um, it was, um, it was, it was with a lot of heavy heart. You know, when uh, when that happened, and um, and uh, you know, uh, you know, the shock really took us. Um, you know, it, it really did hit us in a very big way. And uh, and you know, um, after the initial shock. And an emotional heartache of what happened, um, you know, the, the the next next thing that became apparent for us was how are we going to finish this movie without Paul around? You know, how can I finish this movie without one of my lead movie stars in it? And uh, and so we took time off and we went back and we reassess uh, the situation and we evaluate whether or not we can finish this movie without him. And ultimately, what we came to the conclusion of is that we have to finish this movie. We have to finish this movie for Paul. How much had been finished? How much has been shot? How much had mean? been finished before? Um, you know, uh, I had only shot with Paul up to a certain point. And, uh, and Paul was so integral in this movie that there was still a fair bit of stuff that we have not done with him yet. And, um, and so, uh, so, you know, it became a big challenge. Uh, we had to look at the movie that we had shot so far and then go, what do we need to do to, uh, to go back and to finish this film se as seamlessly as we possibly could so that it leads towards the end farewell, the end send off, and so it doesn't feel like Paul was missing at all in this movie. And that was the biggest challenge, I think, for me. Um, I, I, I always said, you know, um, you, know a, you know, people don't ultimately know um, how monumental it was to, uh, to land this burning plane, so to speak. Is this the end, or can you give me some breaking news? Will there be more? Uh, what I say is, um, um, uh, I think this is a franchise that will never end. I love it. Thank you. Great job, man. Thanks, job man. well done. Thanks a lot.